Hey everyone, welcome back to the Hidden Toy Shop Show. Today I'll be reading a book called Back to Front and Upside Down by Claire Alexander. Let's get started. One day during story time, the principal, Mr. Slippers, spurs into Stan's classroom. It's my birthday, he boomed, and I'm inviting you all to a special party this afternoon. Everyone was excited. When he was gone, Miss Capnit said, Let's all make birthday cards for Mr. Slippers. Stan had lots of brilliant ideas for what to draw. Excellent, said Miss Catnip. But first of all, your cards need to say happy birthday, she said, and wrote it up on the board. Oh no, thought Stan. He hadn't realized there would be writing. Stan stared hard at the board. He picked up his pencil and, very carefully, he started to write. But his letters came out back to front and upside down, and some didn't look like letters at all. I can't do this, Stan thought. Miss Capnet was writing more words on the board. To Mr. Slippers, she read out loud. That was really hard. Stan looked at Jack. He was busy writing his car. He looked at Lucy. She was writing her car too. Tommy had finished and was writing his name. Stan Pauls began to sweat and his heart pounded loudly in his chest. He wanted to ask Miss Catnip for help, but everyone will laugh at me, he thought. Stan felt sick, like his tummy was being all stirred up with a big wooden spoon. Even his name was coming out in a muddle. At recess, Stan didn't feel like playing. He tried hard not to cry. Why are you sad? asked Jack. Promise me you won't tell, said Stan. Jack nodded, and Stan showed him his back to front upside down letters. I'm the only one who can't do it, he said, and a big tear rolled down his cheek. Don't cry, Stan, said Jack. Have you asked Miss Catnips for help? I can't, said Stan. Everyone will laugh at me. No, they won't, said Jack. We all have to ask for help sometimes. After recess, Stan felt braver. He took a deep breath and asked Miss Catnip for help. No one laughed at him. I'm glad you told me, Stan, said Miss Catnip. I'm having trouble too, Miss Catnip, said Mimi. So Miss Catnip gently showed them what to do. And after lots and lots and lots of practice, more and more of their letter came out the right way round and right way up. Excellent, said Miss Capnip. Stan felt healthy and proud of himself. He couldn't wait to give his card to Mr. Slippered. Oh no, cliffhanger. Do you think Mr. Slipper will like his card? Hi you guys, so you're probably wondering why we have these cliffhangers. We believe that part of the journey of reading these books is to get them yourself. We also believe in supporting writers and authors. The library. And also your local bookstores. So go out there and find these books because they're really fun to read. Goodbye, come back again, okay?